It's me, Akila, and I'm here to talk to you about sexual assault in the military. But before we start this video, I just want to give you a warning of a few triggers. I'll be talking about um, suicide and rape with both men and women. So if those are problem areas for you, then I suggest that you don't watch. But for those of you who these are not your triggers, then let's continue. Sexual assault in the military is a topic that is not normally discussed. America has a very high view of the military, so when things happen, when men and women are raped and assaulted and harassed, those things don't get discussed because we are taught to respect the men and the women that serve for us. And I know my dad, he served in the military, and the way that I see him is a person who is very strong and brave. So when Americans think of the military, the last thing people want to think is that uh, women and men are assaulted but unfortunately this is a thing that happens and unfortunately oftentimes you know these things are covered up these so these victims they don't get their case to trial and the rapists go free you know that not many of them get prosecuted Based on information from the National Sexual Violence Resource Center, in 2010, the rate for active duty women was down to 4.4%. And then in 2012, for whatever reason, that skyrocketed to, I believe, 6.6%. And the same thing with men. In 2010, it was 0.9%. And then in 2012, that just shut up to 1.9%. And that was probably because maybe more people reported, started reporting their the incidents but the, the rapists don't get prosecuted, which is, again, which is very unfortunate. The rapists are often uh, people who are high up in the military. They can either be fellow co-workers um, and basically people that are close to the victim. Um, in, in acquaintance rape, the, so the victims are raped by people who they know. So in the military assault, it's not just a random stranger that the victim encounters. It's mostly their commanding officer or someone that they know that has done this assault. And one thing that I definitely would like to talk about is the case of Lavina Johnson. Johnson. Uh, she was, her death was ruled a suicide in 2005. She was the first uh, black woman and the first woman to, from Missouri to die in Iraq. And the military ruled her death a suicide. Her family, they were very uh, suspicious about the events surrounding her death because the, when they spoke to her, she sounded very happy. And so when they learned of this, they wanted to know what happened. And so in the autopsy, they discovered that she had a broken nose, her teeth were, you know, kicked in. Um, she, her, her, her genitals, um, it was burned with acid. And so you're gonna tell me that a person who killed themselves, broke their own nose, bashed their own teeth in, and burned their own genitals. They beat them, their, themselves up and then shot themselves, really. That's highly unbelievable. And that is just one of the cases where the military covers up, you know, these crimes that happen. And it's very, very, very unfortunate because she deserves more than that. And she deserves respect. So her name is Lavina Johnson. She has a website which we will link in the video and there's also a documentary called The Silent Truth which is um, about her death and I recommend that you watch it. Another thing is that with men, a lot of people think uh, there's a stereotype that men are supposed to be macho and strong especially when they're victims of rape. People often make fun of them or dismiss their claims because they think, oh you're a guy, that could never happen to you and that's not true. The percentages of men who um, report their rapes, people think that that is actually an underestimate, that that uh, percentage is actually higher. And um, there is a case, uh, a guy, his name is Brian Lewis, and he was assaulted while in the Navy, while serving in the Navy, and he would like, he also likes to bring to the attention that men in, who are serving can be assaulted, and I'll definitely link his information below. I highly recommend that you watch The Invisible War. It's a really, really, really great documentary on uh, sexual assault in the military. It includes both men and women who were um, assaulted, and it shows you what happens before and after the assault, like uh, how the, the legal process and how difficult it is, and even after all that's done, the trouble that these survivors have to go through to even live 
um, with what happened to them. The documentary can be found on YouTube and we will link it and I'm pretty sure you can also find it on Netflix but I will definitely double check and let you know but it is for a fact most definitely on YouTube and so all the information that I talked about in this video I will have my sources and the links and everything in the description. Thank you so 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 much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.